more mystery cards! Yay! And uh, so this is the last uh, until new ones come out that are interesting. Um, so I got... This set was kind of... Uh, how you say it? The last straw of the Hot Wheels Mystery models. This is... I think... I believe it's the last set to feature pictures on the back. And I believe it's the last set... Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's the last year. This is Series 2. So there was a third set of this year. But this was kind of their send-off for the set. Because if you look, there's only two fantasy castings. The Circle Tracker and the Indian... Well, it's not even like fantasy because the Indy 500. So this set was pretty strong. And this is sadly the last set that we're going to have that is over half licensed models. Because after whatever the third set is, which I think was very low, it had like four or five licensed models. After that set, they re thought the mystery model line and they they got rid of the car stickers and replaced it with hot wheels logos and they also limited it to three licensed models in a set so not as exciting for the collectors i mean of course if you like the fantasy cars and you know i like certain ones i don't normally buy them but i mean i have a couple of them that i've kept from like buying lots and stuff there are certain ones that are, you know, the ones that I grew up on, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I can grab one. Um, ah. Tough one. There's a ton of them. I can't think of the names. It's hard to remember the names. But let's open through these. I don't remember what ones I have. I All I remember is the dots, and I have the dots, and I put that to the side. Let's just bop right through these. Starting with... Plymouth Superbird. It's been a while since I've looked at these, and, you know, just to say, sometimes these pictures can be misleading. And especially this one. Because that's not orange. <laughs> Actually, I gotta take the trash bag out because I've packed it from my 10 car Tuesday. Oh god, this is... Jeez. Technical difficulties. We will be getting back to something like heavy in here. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Stop looking through your garbage. I thought a car fell in there or something, which I'm gonna be surprised, but. Sticker that are actually worth keeping, but yeah, that's not orange. <laughs> and it's not lowered like that at all. I wish it was because this stance kills me. The casting is so good, but just the stance, it needs to be lower to the ground. I always like covering it up. They're like, oh, it's just a regular Roadrunner. These things are mean. The real ones are mean and they're great cars. They're mean. Got kicked out of NASCAR. Hot Wheels Wild Wall Dogs. <laughs> wall Dogs. The Tusky. Is Wall Dog a reference to something? Is that a nickname for these or something? Roadrunner. There's your Roadrunner tail lights. I mean, you can't mistake those. This big wing, which I'm sure breaks easily. I'm not sure how this gets through. That's, that's probably why they kind of moved it to premium recently. Because I think they can have it like that. Plymouth is super bird. This one's pretty nice. I mean, even though it's not orange, I like this color. 
with the blue and the yellow. Comes together nicely. There's your super bird. So yeah, so this set is old. Don't be going out looking for it. I don't... <laughs> I did the whole history lesson on it. What's this? Number three. What is this? It's the NSX? Yes. Actually, I don't collect this casting anymore. So that shows how dated this set is. This is one that I had a boot for the sake of space. To be honest, it is kind of bad. And it's a bad casting. But this release is pretty nice. And they have the old Ray logo on there. Actually, um, that, is that what they use now? Uh, because this is before he passed away. Um, I didn't know they've ever used that logo before. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. This one doesn't have it. Uh, I don't think I have anything up here with his logo on it. Mm, nope. Dang. Uh, but yeah. I guess they have used it before. It's a nice livery. Wouldn't mind this on the regular NSX, but this one, yeah. This casting's just weird. Oh, and I, and I hate, I hate the photo on this one too because it's misleading. Look at those canards. Look how aggressive this thing looks in the front there. And then you see this. <laughs> looks like it lost its jaw. It's just <laughs> like I, I wish it looked like that. Like, in the photo, it looks like an NSX. Come on, this don't look like an NSX. What is this? At least give us a photo on what you're actually giving us, please. Because that's, that's misleading. Um, uh, next up, let's see. Can I guess this one? Ten. What is this? The Escort. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, the Escort. I like the Escort in this set. Uh, maybe not the wheels. <laughs> Definitely not the wheels. It's a, this is a nice livery, though. I like this. License, too. Also off-centered. Okay, window banner, Toyo tires, which is actually metal. Misleading. <laughs> Jeez, is that the theme of this video? Everything's misleading. At least they got the front end of this one right. Looks like delivery on this one, Jones. Oh yeah, they're just giving out. Actually, yeah, they are. What is this? The the Hot Wheels Designers Race Team or something? We got Mark Jones, Brandon Vitusky, and Rayu Asada's car. Oh, there's a little Rayu logo right there. Interesting. Interesting. This, this is the Designers Racing Team. They're just picking out what cars they would like to use. Kind of makes sense that you took the racing Acura rather than the Normal one, but I would have preferred the normal one. This thing's nice. I like the white. I like this is one time that I actually do like all the colors because it actually works. It's flashy, like it should be a race car. Race car should be flashy. And what is that color? Okay. Race car should kind of show off a bit. And you know, that's 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 gonna catch your eye, especially those wheels. They also might blind you. Next up, uh, who's gonna be driving the oh this is the Viper. Who's going to be driving the Viper? Let's say. Uh, I'm just looking for... Imia? Imia? Looks like a name. It could be a designer. Saying the way now, I'm just like looking for the. Uh, I can't see what that says. This is a pretty nice release, though. Um, red interior, red the red interior on the yellow. I don't know. Looks like a Honda Civic Type R. I, I, I don't know if I can get behind that, but pretty busy on the outside here. Interesting livery. Again, I can't complain about the livery on this one. I can't say, oh, I wish it was clean. This is a race car. Well, actually, it's the ACR. There are clean liveries for it, but I mean, this is, it would use it for racing. So, 
Im Im Imria. So the R and A, it's an A. Im Imia? 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 It looks like a name. I don't recognize them from the Hot Wheels team. But it could very much be somebody. There's a lot of people behind the scenes and a lot of designers. There are like main ones and there's like the side. Oh yeah, here's the Lamborghini. It's funny that we're saving the dots to last. Yeah, you got the golden one. The Lamborghini. <laughs> Doesn't this used to have the longest name on a Hot Wheels package? Because they used to put Lamborghini in front of it too. That obviously was not going to fit on here. There's a Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo LP620-2. I feel like there was more to that. And I think they kept doing it for fun. But this. this besides the yellow bump, uh, the yellow base making it look like a Centenario. This livery is awesome. I love it. And this one, I guess, is kind of like a WRC. Right, wait, what? Why does it look like WRC? I don't think that's WRC. Just WC, maybe racing. Is that someone's name? I don't think this one has a name on it, unless it's that. I can't make out what that says. Lamborghini badge. Whatever. That's off center. I think that's God. I think that's supposed to go over the Lamborghini, not not hang over it like a halo, but actually touch it. Or maybe maybe it needs to be a little more aligned if it's supposed to be a halo, I like the green on the wing. This thing's mad. Um, yeah, there's your Huracan. I'm not sure. Oh, that's all metal. Interesting. Not sure why I got the. Huracan. Alright, it's just like, oh, I found the gold one, yay. But interesting that I kind of discovered this is a designer's racing set. So that brings the question, what's, who's driving the dots? Well, I guess it's time to find out. Ooh, 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 ooh. 240Z. Alright. That's a nice livery, by the way. 240Z. Ah, uh, I can't read that. Is that a JC something? I don't know. It's someone's initials, so whoever that is is driving this one. Datsun number 11. Love the red on this one. Love the stripes. This is a solid release. This is how... Yeah, if you're going to have a racing Datsun, this is what it should look like. No weird wide bodies or anything. I don't like when people wide body vintage cars, but... Just take it out on the track like this. You don't need a wide body to go fast. Put an RB in it and let it rip. Look at clusters on the... Oh my god, that's got a lot of clusters. This thing's mad, and I love it. Actually, I actually have a spot for this in the case, so. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.